beautiful. Got to meet a lot of wonderful people. That you know, CJ, that CJ guy, you know, he's a Democratic op. That dude is an op with. Um, he's clicked in with the Democrats. He's one of those folks that they throw out there to shame us into voting. So just understand all of his bad faith bullshit, and just take it with a grain of salt. That's why it sounds like tether babble. But other than that, man, we had a phenomenal time today. Um, DC turned up, turned out, man. It was a beautiful day. The weather was nice. Everybody came out. Everything went off without a hitch. Everybody was phenomenal. Greg Marcel Dixon spoke truth to power. Teslin was out there phenomenal. James Small, Brother Kaba. We brought up Randy Short. We brought up our brother Dwan B. So, man, it was a family affair. And we really got the messaging out. The energy is great. And everybody's going to take that energy home on their local level and keep that same momentum up when it comes to um, us voting and looking at policies in, in ways that they can affect us as a foundational black American group. And they were... The, the Democrats felt a certain way because look at the crowd we drew. They thought, you know, they, they, they kept trying to minimize it. Man, we drew a crowd. They, they can't even draw crowds like that. The fish fry crowd ain't even that big. They can offer nigga catfish nuggets and ain't showing up like that. So they have a problem with us mobilizing on the grassroots without a corporate structure funding people because they always try to pretend that we're getting some kind of funding. We ain't, we ain't getting funding from shit. This was 100% grassroots, all the way from the mud. This was black excellence that you saw on display today. And we need to keep up this black excellence mindset, especially with black men leading the charge, with black women right there by our side. I'm not trying to be on no gender divide because the sisters behind the... How is that not misogynist, Tyree? Okay. Why well, don't men have to lead the movement? Well... T.S. Don't interrupt. Go ahead, Tyree. Okay, okay. The Lord... That, that voice scared me. But um, like I said, we had a lot of strong men like T.S. Giselle out here really leading and representing and um, making things happen. It was a great movement. And some of the great sisters behind the scenes and in the forefront, Sister Jade was phenomenal. Connie was phenomenal. Some of the many volunteers we had, they were phenomenal. And um, we need to show how we as a black community can stand up for ourselves while we see so many black men being emasculated in the mainstream media. We're seeing the Kyrie Irvings, our brother trying to stand up for himself and they're trying to badger him. We're seeing all of these sports Negroes going on apology tours for stuff that they're saying. So that type of image has to be counteracted by us doing what we did today, standing 10 toes down on our own. That's a power move. Yes, absolutely. I got to tell you, man, Marcel did the damn thing. Yes, he did. Marcel was dynamic. Yes, um, he was. Yes. Yes. He should have been the last person. He should have been the keynote speaker. Yeah, he brought truth. Through, but so many people, man, were spitting. Boyce Watkins brought some good information, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Teslin was phenomenal. Um, Randy Short, he, he started it off with some real good energy, man. So everybody did their part. And it, it was a great feeling, man. It was a great vibe. And I'm just so proud of everybody who came through. Shout out to we had a great black security firm. We had a one top notch security. So everybody was safe. Um, there was a Proud Boys scare. We heard um, um, I kept getting word back that some of these suspected white supremacists might have showed up. Um, I think they nipped that in the bud. You had some a couple of Hebrew Israelite dudes in the background kind of making noise. So we kind of nipped that in the bud. So, you know, we had some uh, a couple of fleas and ticks floating around. But all of that stuff got nipped in the bud. Everything came off without a hitch, man. It was a beautiful thing. Yeah, that, that's what's up, man. I'm excited. Now, uh, you had a, a, a camera crew folks out there. Are you going to put together like a um, like a video together? Yeah, yeah, we're getting that together now. We're going to start editing on that. We got the, the main event, and we got a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that we're going to show, too. So, yeah, we're going to put that together and put it out. Because I know different different people were screening it and streaming it on um, YouTube and different platforms. But we're going to put it together in a nice package and put it on out, man. It's a great historic piece, man. This was history today. Phenomenal crowd. Uh, and, and we're talking about something that's specific for us, that's tangible. That's never really been done like that before on this level. So, man, I'm so proud of all of you guys who supported the Rallies for Reparations website, everybody who donated. Man, when I keep telling people, when Foundation of Black Americans put our minds to something, we can get everything knocked out. Anything we put our minds to, man, we can get it knocked out. That's why they always try to divide us on bullshit, because when we get codified, we're unstoppable, man. There's nothing that they can't stop us from doing. We just got to get on damn code about it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now, Tariq, real quick, were there any elected officials or celebrities that reached out to you about this particular rally, uh, either trying to get on stage or wanting to speak or wanting to back on the back end? Um, they talked to some on um, the back end before the event. Marcel, um, Connie, Jay, they were talking to some of the political people. They were getting some pushback here and there. We got one brother who's a candidate who's running for mayor out here. My good brother, Red Grant, he came through. There were um, a couple of people who were trying to run for different elected official um, positions. They, we didn't put them on stage, but they came through. So we, got, we did get a lot of support from all across the spectrum. And, you know, some of the, um, the Hollywood folks didn't really come because, you know, they, uh, a lot of them, you know, Hollywood has a, a yoke on a lot of folks. They don't want to be around too many grassroots black folks because, you know, they, they'll get a guilt by association if something goes left. But a lot of them did send their support. But again, we don't need that because we need the grassroots and we got the grassroots. And we look at the turnout today. We didn't need no sports endorsement. We don't we didn't need a corporate endorsement. We didn't need a political endorsement. Man, it, it begins and ends with the grassroots. I, I want people to understand the power of you. You are the main attraction. You are the main event. And that's what we did today. We tried to make the community, the foundation of black American community, the subject and the main event. And that's what it was all about. What you are going to get. No, that's dope, man. We're really excited. We're, we're glad that you're safe. We're glad that you're in a safe area. Um, I'm sure you got a lot of phone calls to make, some interviews to jump on. Thank you so much for pulling up for us. My man, I appreciate you, brother. Y'all be good. All right, take care. Peace. All right, folks, uh, that's Brother Tariq Nasheed. Make sure you guys follow him if you aren't. Um, there's that. Appreciate the good brother for pulling up uh, on us uh, following the um, the historical uh, rally for reparations. 